Let's get to it. YouTube, what is going on, you delicious gardens? I don't mind like saying it like that, it's funny. Delicious gardens, what's going on, guys? It's uh, time for another episode of uh, How to Make the Crucible Fun Solo. This time we're going to go over the, uh, hunt when I say hunter, I'm so used to, you know what it is? I see blinking, and right away I think of a hunter, but Warlock Voidwalkers do blink, and I absolutely love the blink jump. It annoyed me for the longest time, and I'm sure it annoys a lot of other people, but it gets you out of bad situations. So we're going to go over the, um, Voidwalker, and, uh, we'll go through what I like to use, and in this particular clip, I, I am being that guy. I'm using a thorn and using a Felwinter's line because I, I've kind of adopted the if you can't beat him, join him because it's just it's ridiculous. Like, I really hope, well, do I really hope? I think the thorn's gonna get a nerf, I think, because literally everyone is using the thorn right now. I mean, I cannot count. I couldn't count on three hands how many times I got killed per game with a thorn and a shotgun for that matter. I was just playing on shores at a time and it was Clash and would you believe it? Everyone was using shotguns. So uh, I, I know this is off topic here but I really think they need to tone down special ammo. But on a good note I was seeing a lot of snipers and I like seeing snipers. When I get killed by a sniper I always say bravo bravo because I feel like sniping takes skill in this game. Now, for the longest time, I had the dumbest Warlock, dumb as a box of rocks, because I had no intellect. For some reason, every raid gear piece I would get, and even legendary, uh, was always like disciplined strength. The only thing that I had that had a high intellect role was the Starfire Protocol, which is obviously for your Sun Singer, so I can't use that. But finally, with uh, Mr. Zur selling the Skull of Dire Ahamkara, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, I do have a brain now, and I get my supers a lot. And as long as you play the objective, you will get those annoying Nova Palms. But you know what? The way I look at it, guys, every one super is annoying, okay? Nova bombs are annoying, getting killed by Arc Blade is annoying, getting Golden Gun from Cross Maps is annoying, uh, Fist of Panic is really annoying, whatever. What are you going to do? It, but your goal is to get supers, or at least my goal. So again, just like every other class, I try to focus on my uh, intellect and discipline first and foremost. However, the Warlock melee, especially Voidwalker, well actually both Voidwalker and Sunslinger for that matter, have some distance. It's not like the Hunter Gunslinger where I feel like it does nothing to people. Uh, the Blade Dance. Or Blink has some great distance to it. Titan, uh, I feel, has no distance, but very powerful. Uh, Voidwalker and Sunsinger, for that matter, have great melee. So, all right, let me show you on the uh, bottom of your screen here the build that I use. So here he is, Voidwalker. Uh, this is all my raid gear, and you can see intellect, strength, discipline, and all that stuff is all kind of spread out evenly. First thing I'll do is I'm gonna go use the Skull of Die Amkar. Now it's got intellect, straight intellect, 101. That's not that great, but I'm gonna go and combine it with a couple other pieces of gear to uh, make sure that I have as much intellect as possible. Just keep it at 100%, and then uh, try to get some discipline. Now for gauntlets, I don't have anything really good except for a bunch of raid gauntlets and that one brace from Eris Morn. So I just go with an intellect, I think strength one. Now uh, for the chest piece, I go with the Shroud of Justicar because it's, it's just a plain old regular legendary chest piece, but it's got intellect and discipline. So here you can see I got 54% discipline, strength is only at 19, uh, 19%, but my intellect is max. So again, if you're a melee person, uh, you might want to mix that up a little bit. I, I like to stay away from people and I don't get many melee kills. Now, Void Fang Vestments is an excellent PvP chess piece, but uh, it doesn't have any intellect, or at least it, it brings my intellect down. But the thing is, you get an enhanced Axiom Bolt, which is absolutely amazing for PvP, and you also spawn in every time with automatic, you have your full grenade energy there. But I don't really use it. Once I got the Skull of Diarm Kara and I got my intellect up, as long as I'm playing the objective, I'm getting supers after supers. So let's go and take a look at the skill trees. Now, first off, I'm always going to use the Axiom Bolt. That's the that, uh, grenade that travels and tracks people, so you'll get a lot of kills from those, especially if people are one-shot, and a lot of times I do the old throw grenade, then shoot at them, so which means I'll damage them with my grenade, and then I'll finish off the kill with my gun. Uh, again, I love blink jumping. It's a point where in PvP it's hard for me to use a Titan that doesn't have any type of blink jumping, or say the Sunsinger for that matter. Triple jump I'm still pretty used to. Now, Vortex, I love going with Vortex because that's the one where um, it creates this huge, big... Uh, I don't know, I'll call it bubble or whatever, of damage. And a lot of people don't realize that it's not their teammates, and they'll walk right into it and die. Uh, and it takes care of a lot of one-shot people, and it's good for holding objectives. I go with Soul Rip, so uh, if you kill an enemy, it's going to reduce the cooldown time of your Nova Bomb. Again, this build is all about getting my supers, trying to get as many Nova Bombs to annoy as many people as possible. Now, I had a little bit of a foot and mouth syndrome, or a mesa fell, typically, uh, in my last couple of videos where I talk about how I don't worry about armor at all and it's all about recovery and speed. Well, you know what? Um, I think toughness and recovery together are a little better than just agility and recovery. Uh, I did notice I died a little bit less when I uh, chose Arcane Spirit, which you know helps in toughness and recovery, and I chose Divine Order to just focus on toughness. And you know what? I did find I died a little less. 
And I, you know, I was thinking about it, I don't really care about agility as much with my Warlock because I'm not trying to get in people's faces as much. Not like the Hunters. The Hunters, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to max out my agility and my recovery, get in people's faces and get out of there. So uh, here for this next tree, I go with the Angry Magic so that my Nova Bomb tracks the enemies. Don't really mess with the other two. I mean, let me know in the comment section if you find those other ones useful, but I always go with the Angry Magic. It just seems to work for me. Then I go with Vortex Mastery. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. Do you younglings know what commercial that's from? I bet you don't. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I go with Vortex Mastery because you get a double whammy there. It uh, enhances your Axiom Bolt Seekers as well as the Vortex effect from your Nova Bomb. So that's what I go with, guys. But again, let me know in the comment section what you guys choose in terms of your builds. Usually for the uh, weapons, I just obviously go with a uh, hand cannon. Um, have not been digging a service regime lately, guys. I, it feels really weak now. I mean, if I recall back in October when I first reviewed that gun, yeah, I think it was doing like 43s or 45s precision. Now it does like 33s or 32s or something like that. So I stay away from that. I've been using the last word a lot, Thorn, Hawk Moon. But even then, Hawk Moon feels like it gets... Um, outclassed by the thorn many times or I mean obviously it's probably because of my shitty aim but I just feel like sometimes I get outgunned where I clearly had shots on with the hawk moon and they just they, I feel like the rate of fire on the uh, thorn is what outdoes those uh, lovely hawk moons uh, I love corrective measure or my beloved zombie apocalypse I got the first month in the game so still using those um, I like noob tubing but you know what I only I go on more ki I go on more kill streaks when I use a light machine gun. Uh, I'll use the noob tube if I get like a, um, you know, that bounty where you got to kill 15 guardians with a rocket launcher. But other than that, I don't know. I, I I do much better if I'm using like the corrective measure, zombie apocalypse, or the uh, post dark below LMG, the the dark below version of the swarm, which is called against all odds. I got a, I got two versions of those: There's a void one and a solar one. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys, and let me know in the comments section what do you guys use in terms of your gear for your Void Walkers, as well as perks and skill trees, stuff like that, that uh, I might have missed or that you feel would be better. Sell me on it. I love hearing from you guys in the comments section. So uh, let's see what else. Sunsinger should be the last and final one of these guides and uh, should have it up in the next week or so. Again, it's fun playing with all the different classes. Like, guys, can't reiterate enough. It's, it's most... To get the most out of this game, have all three classes. It's, it's really fun because you basically have six different characters to play around with because, I don't know, babble mode is engaged as usual. Drop a like in this video if you enjoyed it. I'm changing it up a little bit. I'm not saying only if you it, only if you see fit, I'm going to say. Drop a like in this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Mason Sean. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. And that's it. You stay drop dead gorgeous, Guardians. Guardians.